Welcome to A Weekend in York, where Helen, Phil, Andrew and myself explore this beautifully preserved medieval city. We drank a lot, we definitely ate a lot and we worked our way around York featuring an abundance of activities. If you're new around here, my name is Grace and please do subscribe, leave a comment but most importantly, enjoy this vlog. Hello, so we have made it to York. It was a semi-lengthy drive but fabulous. We were singing, I had a nap. We had a McDonald's breakfast, it was fabulous. Um, but we are finally here. Our room is absolutely incredible. The ceilings are so tall. It's, it's grand, it is very grand. Uh, Helen and Phil have gone to go get a tattoo. Andrew has already made himself a home by unpacking. I have got incredible period pain, so I didn't really fancy that. It is Saturday and we had an absolutely banging day yesterday. Fabulous time. Some people got a little bit silly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's now Saturday and we are brunching in this lovely, lovely place. What is it called? Rice. Oh guys, it's, it's 170 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got um, a huge itinerary ready to go today. And you're gonna, you're gonna help me vlog. You're gonna axe throw. We're gonna do lots of wonderful things. I'm just so hungry. Hi mum. So we've had a fabulous day so far. We're now at the hilt doing axe throwing and um, I've done my practice rounds. Not great. Um, and we're now doing a competition. We've all got nicknames. It's all funny. It's fabulous. Um, I just really just want to hit the target. I did get a bullseye. His lights out. And away we go! Oh. But it's all gone a bit down the old six there. <laughs> Fourth place is ten points. Oh no! Helga with sixteen points. Grace with twenty points and Nobsniff with twenty-four points. What? Nobsniff. Do you know what? <laughs> In the hotel room it is 20 to 10 it's been such a long day we managed to get out the hotel about nine but we made it down for breakfast uh, made it to breakfast oh, I'll get my words out it's been such a long day but honestly I have just such amazing friends and I'm so grateful just spending quality time with Andrew alone has been really nice I know that we've been in like a group of four I can't remember the last time that we have just enjoyed ourselves and done stuff and to be doing that with Helen and Phil is just so so nice and it and this this weekend will be a very good memory I, I shall be cherishing but just so thankful that Helen has just 
itineraried everything, like booked everything, made sure that we were we were there on time and doing all these all these bits and bobs. And it's just been such a fulfilling weekend so far. Like we arrived yesterday and today, it being Saturday night, and we've still got tomorrow and a bit of Monday, and we've already done so much. It's been honestly so amazing and I'm so thankful and so grateful to be surrounded by so many wonderful people uh, creating these memories but anyway yes we had breakfast which we had at Rise which was incredible very very nice we all enjoyed what we had the night before I had a steak and I just went to bed I felt a bit funny I waited so long from breakfast and dinner yesterday that my tummy was being a bit funny. So I went with a smoothie bowl, but it was so tasty, so good, filled me up and got me uh, got me through the morning. Had a little mooch around, and then we went to the Jorvik Center, which was incredible. We had a little laugh and a good time, and I learned a lot. We mooched around again, had a bit to eat, and then we went axe throwing. We all have our special talents with axe, axe throwing. Um, and then to top it all off, we ended the night having some Asian food, which was, it was kind of like a setup in like a restored factory. So you had your beer, which you'd go and get your order, your, your bao buns or... Um, noodles, gyozas, oh loads of stuff, really really good. Andrew and Helen have gone and had, I think they just want one last drink before they go to bed and I've just been, it's been so hot. Oh god, I didn't, we, did, we went on a ghost tour, went on a ghost tour, the ghost tour was amazing. He said I don't know anyone in yet, actually it was in Essex, so we had a dodgy accent, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone in yo. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got paid for letter. So he opened up the letter, he had a bit of a read. He said, I know this person, by sheer coincidence, I taught this person how to write at school. Before we went and had dinner, um, after act throwing, we went straight on a ghost tour and it was the best thing ever. I've never done anything like that before. I'm gonna be going back to Norwich and doing one there because I want to learn more about Norwich and where I live. Yeah, the ghost tour, the woman was so funny. She's called Mad, Mad Alice. Yeah, I think that's right. I love history, I love learning about history. And she took us all around the city. And it was just, yeah, it was really, really good. I feel very fulfilled. Nice, Phil. <laughs> okay, I'll wait a minute. I'll wait till later. Tomorrow, you. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. So it's the end of Sunday, kind of. We've had a fabulous mm -hmm. day. We're gonna get some drinks now. Helen's not been very well today, so we did we did a change in schedule, but we've we've still had a fantastic day. Did you see Helen might be trumping a little bit. I did. And Andrew's gone for a poo, so it's all going well on a Sunday evening. Very good Easter. I feel really bad for her, I'm so sorry. That's why I said, no, not right now, because I wanted it to go away, because it's stank in here. <laughs> it does smell. Yeah, it does smell. Oh, no. <laughs> but she looks really cute. Oh, she, you're in your little rug. So there you have it. It's been edited, it's been done, and I didn't do a sign off, so I thought what I'm gonna do is finish it off as a haul. Took me a while to edit, amongst other things. Uh, I wasn't very well uh, before we went away to York. So then going away to York and then coming back, having to do catch up. Unfortunately, vlogs get put on the back burner. But thank you if you've made it this far. I had an absolute blast editing it. It was, it was funny. And I wanted to do a voiceover at the beginning and just have it as just a really nice memory to remember. Um, 
when I look back on it in a couple of years or so. So what did you, what did I buy? Well, the Jorvik Center was absolutely fantastic. Would highly recommend that. It really took you back in time to see what the Vikings were like and how they used to live and, and survive. I had to get a magnet. I've got loads on my fridge of wherever I've been with Andrew mostly. So I said to Andrew, right, going to the gift shop, uh, we need to get a magnet. Just the standard, a standard York one, but I love it. It's fabulous. The second thing I want to show is where Helen and Phil got their tattoo done in York. We obviously like caught up with them later and met Lisa and Jay in their studio called Studio and I, and I couldn't not get some prints. So these were almost the last ones left. And you've got a lady and a sausage dog and another lady and a sausage dog on a skateboard. So I can imagine like framing these and having them together. I think that'd be quite nice. Again, they bring me so much joy and they're bloody fabulous. And then the next thing that I went off to go get was these. So the first, I wanna say on the Friday we arrived, we, um, we walked past the Little Yorkshire Candle Company and they're called Born of Botanics. And every time I was walk past this shop, it just smelled so incredible, really, really nice. And I'm a really, I'm a big sucker for candles. And a bugbear I have is when you do buy a candle or like a cheap candle, you can really notice the difference because I need to let my dogs out. Stop it. You can really get a grasp on how my weeks have been been going. Um, cheaper candles, I feel, don't burn as, easy, as easily. When I do have that issue where the, the wax is just round the side and it's constantly just burning downwards, I do get tin foil and I put it round the side so that it melts all the, all the wax and it goes back to its all one level. But that can be a bit tedious, it's ugly. <laughs> Um, having lighting a candle and then tin foil all around the side and just not something that I really like doing. So whenever I come across new candles or I start talking to people in a candle shop, especially this one, the girl in there was really helpful. They're like, they're soy and they've got a linen wick. So they burn quite well. The last time I did burn it, you should let it all melt before you blow it out and I was leaving the house and it hadn't fully melted. So it's not looking how I would like it to, but I always trim the wicks and everything. But their lovely little logo on the front and this one's called Bliss. And it, and it reminds me of Happiness by Neon. Bought one for Helen as well because I walked, I walked past it on, this, on the Friday, smelt amazing and was gonna go in, but we were doing multiple things and it was our first day there. And then on the Saturday, walked past, but we were doing multiple things. Um, and it's just up the road from where we were doing ax throwing. And I was like, I can't not go in there. And I went in there and picked up a candle and Helen was sitting down having a, having a beer. And I was like, I showed Andrew, I was like, I've bought this one. And he was like, oh my God, that smells amazing, really nice. He was like, why don't you go get another one? I was like, yeah, I know, but like, you know, they're not cheap and, and all that. So we ended up getting another one and then I picked up one for Helen because she did such an amazing job of this trip and um, she's, she's lit it and is enjoying it and loves the smell. So we got Bliss and then we got Sensual, which I'm going to put in the bedroom, I think. As you can still see, it's still in its packaging. They won't be lit very often. When they do, uh, it, it, it lifts a room. Lastly, is these straws, uh, these straws that we got from Rise, um, which is like a, a breakfast joint. And there is one, two, three, four, five bamboo straws and a cleaner. We had this with our rice coffee and yeah, they're all made out of bamboo. They're all, you know, different. You can tell that they're very unique and they say stuff on them. Like for example, cute as fuck, fuck mornings. You okay, hun? S smoothie slut. And bitches, bitches love brunch. They're just great. We are coming into the summer. Spring is upon us, supposedly. So iced coffees, 100%, with some amazing straws. 
absolutely beautiful so i can put all this stuff away now but yeah on that note thank you if you've made it this far hope you enjoyed seeing the the small little bits that i got helen if you're watching this thank you darling i had an absolutely splendid time and uh, i can't wait for our next adventure she knows what it is um you guys don't know what it is but i'm really excited so um hope you're having a beautiful week beautiful morning evening afternoon whatever whatever it may be in your time of watching this and i shall see you very shortly i am going to my my mother's down south uh, this weekend so doing a bit of DIY so no doubt I'll be documenting that that's good bye